Hey everybody, in this video segment we're going to install the Zone Alarm Personal Firewall. Um, if you're using Zone Alarm already guys, this is the freeware version, so the one that you're allowed to download and install without ever putting a license on it or uh, having it registered and so on. So, we go ahead and double click on the Zone Alarm EXE on our desktop and we choose whether or not we want to install Zone Alarm Free Firewall plus Zone Alarm Internet Security Suite, which is a 15 day trial because um, the Internet Security Suite in includes antivirus and so on that you'd have to pay for after 15 days um, or you can choose to install the Zone Alarm Free Firewall and that's what we're going to go ahead and choose to install uh, for this video. So go ahead and click on that and click on Next. We're going to go ahead and download and install it and we'll let it download. It takes a few seconds to come down. Now Zone Alarm was not recently but a few years back acquired by a company called Checkpoint which actually provides uh, corporate solutions or corporate firewall and you know clientless VPN solutions uh, to business and so on. Now if you guys you guys are probably pretty familiar with personal firewall or firewall terminology uh, you've probably heard it on the news um, with regards to corporations having to install one and so on. Um, in this case, uh, you know, just so you guys know, a firewall will basically protect your computer for traffic coming in, trying to harm your computer, um, as well as protect you from sending out any um, or launching programs or uh, viruses or malware trying to launch programs from your computer in the outbound direction as well. So let's go ahead, guys. We're going to go ahead and click on Next. In the installation here, it wants our email address. We're going to choose to register Zone Alarm so we can get updates, um, as well as get informed on the latest, you know, important product and security news and so on. All right, so we'll click on Next. We accept the terms and the licensing. And click on Install. Now we've cut probably about a minute and a half out of this video uh, because we don't want you to basically sit here and watch this status bar keep going up, but really you know on a on a half decent computer nowadays an alarm shouldn't take any more than three or four minutes to install on your computer and then it requires a reboot and out of the gate it's by default protecting your computer now, there's one or two options here towards the end of the install that I want to make you guys aware of alright so right here you'll see welcome to the zone alarm safeguard your web filtering now this is important as a home user or someone that's not very familiar with security Zone Alarm will actually scan your computer for all the programs that you're using and automatically um, assume or trust these programs or authorize them to use the internet or whatever it may be like your browser for example if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox or you could choose here to say don't set up my programs and that's more for an advanced user or someone who knows what they're doing because what, what essentially is going to happen is next time you reboot Zone Alarm is going to basically every time you try and launch a program Zone Alarm is going to give you a little pop-up window saying are you sure you want to let this out um, you might want to do that that's not a bad thing to do um, but if you're not very I guess familiar on how to how to actually go through that process I'd recommend that you allow Zone Alarm to scan your computer and set up your programs for you and that's basically what we'll do in this video Alright, so we'll leave that setting, we'll go ahead and click on Next. Alright, it scans our computer and then we restart it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for coming out and we will see you guys next time. Bye.